Angela. You're watching Day One Reacts to Music. And up next is a song by Leon Haywood. The title of the song is I Want to Do Something Freaky to You. Ooh. <laughs> it was released back in 1975. The person requested. Their name is right there. Thank you so much for the request. And before we get started, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know the next time one of my videos is being uploaded. I release videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 p.m. Let's take a listen.
Okay. Um, when it first started off, when I heard that that beat, I if you know um, '90s rap, like I know '90s rap, um, which is my favorite era of rap, um, that is the that was sampled from uh, Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. G thing. <laughs> when I heard, I was like, one, two, three, into the four. Snoop Dogg, Dogg, Dre. And Dr. Dre is at the door. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> and so I got like caught up in that, hearing that sample. Like, oh my God, that's the sample. That's the sample. Um, I love it when I find out, like, you know, um, samples of songs were used, and I get to hear the original song that um that that sample was coming from. But I did not expect it to be this song here. I mean, did not expect this. Uh yeah, this song was pretty grown up. <laughs> it used like a lot of like um a lot of uh metaphors in there, but we know what he was talking about, and then sometimes he just straight up said it. <laughs> um this is a very interesting song. I okay, lyrics aside, he had a great voice. I love the the uh the uh background singers. I did love the music, I love the style of it, I love how smooth it was. I could see why um 90s rapper would want to use this because this was during the era of where everyone was using um funk or um blues music to um rap over and this this um song this um melody and this uh the music itself it's just i think it was just beautifully created i feel like it has a great smooth sound to it i can imagine driving listening to this song it has like that great like vibe of like floating a bit it gives you like a floating feeling and like or the motion feeling like i always say um but yeah i really enjoyed that now the lyrics when we get to the lyrics it's a little bit grown up <laughs> um i probably would like um wouldn't play this in front of my kids <laughs> if i had kids um i wouldn't play this um in front of like children um i would like if it was like an instrumental then leave it as an instrumental <laughs> But that be said, I um speaking as an adult, I it's one of those songs that that, that uh yeah <laughs> that's uh yeah you know <laughs> all right um that's all I'm gonna say about that uh would I put the song in my phone? Yes, I would because I feel that I like the uh vibe of the song and I love the music and I love the like I said the um. The motion feeling of it, the floating feeling of it. I, like I said, I can imagine driving listening to this song. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I will put the song on my phone. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a Patreon member. There you can watch videos blocked by YouTube. We've got the Eagles, the Beatles, Bob Marley, Jimi Hendrix. We have some Fleetwood Mac songs over there, as well as live performances. We have one by Billy Joel. We have uh, John Denver, as well as an Eagles um uh, eagles live performance that i just put up last week it is the title of the song is love will keep us alive great performance you can also purchase t-shirts and mugs link to my store is in the description below and if you like this video please share it out with your friends bye <laughs>